this is my first voiceover. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the new 12 volt ferry lights uh, that I got uh, from AliExpress, the WS2812B, and also uh, currently running the Sound Reactive WLEDs 014 Beta 27. Uh, from moon modules for the sound reactive LEDs, which is really really good So this is the main reason why I'm doing this video to help others who want some sound reactive uh, lights in their homes or elsewhere and Also to test the new 12 volt ferry lights. So what I've done is I built I, I bought a test of these LEDs. They're five centimeter apart five meters and I put them in serpentine that means all attached to give me a small matrix to test these lights and I'm just going to go through all the settings and show you how it works I hope you can see the the um, screen so you can see what I'm doing here and the options are huge uh, there's thousands of options uh, for example if you were in android now and you look at the segments here you can choose in pixels arc it works better with other effects but if we just keep it you can also transpose depending how you set them up in vertical or horizontal and there's just a plethora of options in this software which is really really good as you can see from my selections you go to the black hole which works really nice and if you want to transpose it it gives you a different a direction and the idea for me for buying these, I am I just ordered 60 meters of those lights to replace my old uh, curtain, which lasted for three years. Um, really nice. I'll probably try and add it in the video there on the side so that you can see what I did, which was about 480 bullet LEDs. But living where I live with the sunshine, the rain, some LEDs are, are dead. They've been burnt out with uh, weather problems but repairing it was a bit too expensive so I decided to try these lights and I'm really happy they work amazing um, I'm still using the Wemos Shield which I've linked in other videos there if you want to have a look but they are really good so let's go on and babbling about it this is my first one so I apologize so if I go to just going through the bouncing balls chase they're really bright, everything's they're super efficient. This is quite a cool one, a chun chun. And you can mirror them, reverse them. Really, there's too many options for you to do. Um, yesterday I played around with the sound reactives, which I'm gonna put some uh, non-copyright music in a second. So that you can see, but they're super responsive, crazy bee, quite good thing. And I just can imagine that when my curtain is going to be at least five meters in length and one meter twenty in width, so it should really make some great effects. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put some in the comments. But I'm happy to help whenever I can. Um, just to show you, for example, the responsiveness of the microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. So yeah, they're very responsive. Fairy lights, I can go on and go on and go on, really, to be honest, uh, is you have to try it. There's so many options. The Adobe LED team are excellent. They've been working on it for so many years. I've been following them a lot. And uh, everything I have, all my projects I have, have been based on that. Um, I got my TV ambient, I got my nano leaf DIY, now this, so I will be posting more of it. I've also got um, a, a wooden world map which I'm putting some ADs all around, so it creates a world effect on the wall, which is a floating effect, which I will be posting soon 
once I have time. Uh, if anyone's interested in terms of the settings, for example, if I go to the 2D configuration and I'll try and take the camera a bit closer here. So it's 16 by 6, bottom left, all depending on how you want to set it up. And now it shows you a really good diagram how it is set up. In terms of my audio reactive settings, I got it on 3 squares 5, lazy, because I like it to go slow. Not too sure, I've been trying these things. I'm not too sure what they do yet, but I'm still learning. So uh, I got big speakers, that's just the microphone I have. You got plenty of microphone to choose from. And in terms of my LED preferences, I've got, I've got it unlimited at the moment, because I don't have much. I do have a 12 volt, volt supply here. And these are my settings, RGB, 96, 16. I got my default brightness at 100. So if you're used to Dolby LED, you know what to do. I'll link a video of someone who installs Dolby LED, which is very good. So I'll link that him down on the comments as well for you to check. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some um, sound um effects and let me know what you think of my uh, music effects I'll be playing around and these were my preferred effects but again if you look at the sounds here every single um, option you have all the segments here you can mirror reverse expand transpose so you can imagine all the and obviously all the different colors on this side as well so you do have a lot of options and then you can also preset them you can also put them here or in a preset so they automatically run 60 seconds with a three second transition so you can forget about it if you're having a party and that's it so i'll play one more song and i'll leave it there thanks